Colonel King. Rachel. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. Arrogant. This is my team now. This is my team now. What are you talking about? I have direct orders from CENTCOM to assume command of your task force. Oh. Are you serious? Have you known me to be any other way? Lieutenant Kolchak, if you'd be so kind. This is from SOC Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. Who the hell are you? This is Dr. Stokes. I've given her full clearance. I bet you have. <laughs> okay. Guess I'll go figure it out for myself. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? This is so rude. There's like three different things to interact with in that room and they cut you off with a time. Like within 30 seconds. What the fuck is that? Makes me sad. Modern art or something. This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. AK-2. Well, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many bears could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast. Could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? Compliant, I'll request air support. I'll put in a request for air support to be on standby. Our birds can fly low under the radar. The site is in the Zagros Mountains. The fuck was that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Plenty of ground cover. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. I mean, you guys are about to get a demon. This is why just, we so went yeah. to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me set up the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I've got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? What the fuck does that mean? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Eric. Rachel. Ugh. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. 
It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Ew. Ew. I don't like any of these options. Rage. This is it. Everything I've worked on these past years. It's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. So I decided to fuck another guy. Worse. A lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach, don't say that. Can you just tell him you're cheating? You're not wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh, shit, sorry. But you got in that box of tricks anyway. You're in the military. Probably something worth billions of dollars. Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. All right, that thing's, that's yeah, like worth good. 20 bucks. Never mind. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. Five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Did she even read it? Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. God, Eric, you little sappy bitch. Okay, wait for the download. Speak to the team. Inspect the briefing room. I'll talk to the team. We need to form uh, some relationships with them. Fuck the information around the room. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. You're my technician? So, you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. I'm sure I'll manage, Colonel. Bye. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. <laughs> Think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. Yeah, it makes sense. Fan, at least we can rely on air support to dig us out. I'm sure it won't come down to that. You seem confident. You seem surprised. There's, there's a part of my head that's like, look at all the information on the board. Look at every piece of paper. But none of these are really all that worth it. It tells us the, the area and what's going on around it. But to be fair, we don't really care about that. Because we're going into a tomb at the end of the day. What is this? Grenade? Okay. Is this what I think it is? WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. Restraint. Okay, just for cover. These are only to be used for cover. Understood? Understood. After all, Saddam is the one who's breaking weapons conventions. Not us. I don't know, man. Those things might actually be pretty useful. I just didn't want to be like rude and be like, Oh my god, guys, what are you doing? Oh my god, this piece of paper. Mm, fuck load information. Okay, it's saying what this group is for. Getting much information, dealing with everything.
We got the local newspaper. Mission accomplished. President Bush declares end of hostilities in Iraq. <laughs> Yeah, we're staying in 2003. Although if there was a jump to 2021 and they follow up on this place, it'd be good. <sighs> Let's talk to fucking Rachel. Wait, nope, that's not it. I guess you can't talk to Rachel. <laughs> Fine by me. I don't know what else there is to do. I guess... We really did have enough time to sit here and read articles, like, more thoroughly. Alright, what, what was this about? Urgent results needing... or er, urgent results needed. Clear, compelling end state. U.S. forces have been engaged to end the threat to the international community from Iraqi WMD until we prove that threat. We cannot rightly justify the invasion under international law. With the cessation of hostilities, the risk of the regime destroying evidence of WMD is heightened. The survey group needs to move quickly to identify and exploit WMD sites and personnel. Our allies in the international community need reassurance that our intelligence services are sound. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Uh, guys, we, need, we really need to prove that we were that, like we were justified in doing everything. Please do a good job in finding that. Is there anyone else I can talk to? What is this? Secret found. This file reports that aid workers have gone missing near the Iranian border. Oh. Report disappearance. Two aid workers, Saran District. Workers named Yves Pagam Marie Vinay. Failed to make contact two weeks ago. Aid workers presumed robbed and killed. Or they were taken into the tomb. The Akkadian tomb. All right, time to walk off into the foggy void. We're not. There we go. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. What? What? If you want to ask me something, I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper. He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind. <laughs> I mean, he does. He, he, he's got his wife here, which is a very weird conflict of interest to have. Salim Othman. I figured he was dead, but they gave him a name, so he'll probably live for just a little bit. Zayn, and a gate. Zayn. Okay, hold up. They make the ancient Arcadian speak translated English, but not this dude. What's this? Mr. Zane Othman. Dear Zane, the board has approved your application for admission to Highgate University to read mythology in an academic year 2003-4, which commences on September 2nd, 2003. This offer is conditional upon your agreement to fulfill the following requirements, failing which the university would deregister you from the uh, course of study offered. A. Completion of your college studies to the projected AAB standard of grades. B. Obtaining a student's visa from the UK Home Office. We understand that the current world events may create complications for your visa application or relocation to the United Kingdom. I assure you that you're the, the facility or the faculty will assist and support your visa application in every way. And then advertising bullshit. Oh, what was that about? I don't know. Can you translate? Translate this shit for me. You've achieved something that nobody in this family has before. I'm so proud of you, Zane. Now go back that grade. Love always, Dad. Aw. So this guy, you know, he's, he's trying to make it out. Trying to go to college in the UK. What's this? Oh, why did somebody break the picture? Hold on. Hold 
Did something happen? Or dad or whoever get kidnapped? Well, there's more to this place. Nothing in this back room here. Hello? The hell is going on? Zen? Oh wait, Zane is somebody else. <laughs> We're the guy going to college isn't us, I think. I mean, this is what he's going to go to college and stuff for. The heavens were no place for mortals. The Sumerians believed that the sky was formed of a configuration of domes, each hewn from a different precious stone. The outermost dome embodied Ian, the god of the sky. The middle dome was home to the gods of heaven, and the lowermost dome was abode was the abode of the stars. The number of domes varied between three and seven. The number seven itself had magical properties and recurs frequently throughout Mesotopian myth. Seven demons, seven thrones, seven spirits, and the seven gates of the underworld. To the Sumerians, the stars and planets each had their own deities. Utu was the sun. Nana, later altered as Suen or Sin, was the moon. Nergal was ascribed to, to Mars. Nabu to Mer uh, Mercury. Maduk to Jupiter. Inanna to Venus. And Ninurta to, to Saturn. The heavens were truly the abode of the divine, and the earth below was given to heavens. No soul could travel upwards in this world view. Instead, they were confined to their earthly domain even in death. It is no wonder that the Sumerians were among the world's first astronomers. They charted the positions of stars, identified planets, and plotted the movement of constellations. Although surviving records from the period are incomplete, it is now widely believed that the discoveries of the Mesopotamian astronomy were passed on to the Western world and formed the basis of the classical Grecian sky maps. Cool. Hello? What is going on here? Oh, Rabbi Azin, Tanny. Do you sell his stuff and run away? Yeah, but... Hello. Uh, hello, I'm Salim. Salim? Salim Garkun. Abu Zain. I forgot. Who was Zain? Ma, ma. Who was Zain? My abnik. Tari. Iwa Tari. Who are they together? Uh, I have a gift for him. لا لا. كله تمام. أصلاً كان عيد ميلاده وأنا جبت له هدية. هدية كويسة. آه. لما يرجع ابعته لي حالا ما اقدرش اقول امتى هيجي انت عارف الولاد اي وقت ابعته لي لو سمحت طبعا اوكي سو سليم از ذا داد اوف زين جات يو اي جات ثينكس فيري ميكست اب ا ليتل بيت لا 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 يا ديني مش دلوقتي كابتن باصري اهلا يا مولاي لازم تحرك على طول انت بتقول ايه سعادتك؟ العدو جاي يا سليم العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي العدو؟ يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ محدش اتسلم العدو جاي ودي ارضنا واحنا لازم نتعرب ليها شايفينهم؟ مطلوب تاكيد يلا شوف جايين علينا بقول لك احنا محتاجين كل راجل في مكانه لاحسن طايرتهم توصل عندنا. فايت اي ماست فايند ماي سون ما اقدرش اعمل ده يا فندم. ابني محتاجني. ده امر يا جندي مش طلب. واو ديوت عليك. جيسس فهمت. هرجع البيت قريب. خلاص يا دار دي اخر مهمة يا ويل سي اف وي كان جيت يو سرفايف بادي كوبي 
Roger that. Over. We're here if you need us. See you on the other side. All call signs. Silence, silence, silence. Coyote 2. Face on, boys. We're coming in fast. Hey, Merwin. What's your mama and the Bermuda Triangle have in common? Why are you fucking it like? They both swallow Marines. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, boy. <laughs> hey, look. Your mama's so nasty. I called her for phone sex, and I got a fucking ear infection. Well, damn. How long have you been sitting on that one? Oh, yeah, you like that? I got a shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. Yeah, that's what your mama said. You two want to cut the bullshit and focus on the mission? Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? And that's between the sheets. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. <laughs> Some are getting jealous now. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> hey! Fuck y'all laughing at. <laughs> Marina's like you want she does it. Jesus Christ. Okay, I need you to establish contact with the AWACS CP on four hour interval. Sergeant K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. All good, buddy? Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm straight. What's going on in there? Just some shit I gotta work through, man. It's all good. Chill. I got your back. I got your back, Nikki. No matter what. I know it. Make sure you do. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Semper Fi? What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what? It's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the Gila. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Your eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. Good to go, Marines. This is what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're gonna succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! 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 Wow, ouch. Big steel fly. <laughs> you idiots want to defend your land so badly, you're about to get into a bad conflict with demons and shit. I'm assuming this is the area where the tomb is. All covered up in dust and sand. American, the Asakir, the American gum. Sir, we've been made. Awaiting orders. Uh, fan out, hold fire. Fan out and hold fire. We're gonna psy out this shit. We're not here to kill humans, man. We're here to kill demons, shit. Even if they don't know it. إحنا الأمريكان. إحنا الجيش الأمريكاني. Down, 
Well, you know, you get three people who are going to survive, but I'm sure there's going to be one guy with a gun who's going to fuck things up for everybody. Clear room! Clear! All bound is secure. Prisoners are playing ball. Roger. Get Corporal Merwin to pop yellow smoke at the LZ and bring in the Colonel. This rig's a bust. These people are not the enemy, they're just shepherds. Lieutenant Kolchak, a set rep if you will. No shots fired, sir. No casualties. Farm is secure and we're processing captives. Captives? Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one? What does that mean, Lieutenant? Uh, we'll find it, sir. We have yet to carry out a full search. We'll find it, sir. You took a risk giving up the element of surprise, Lieutenant. But it looks like it paid off. No casualties and clean work. Thank you, sir. Nonetheless, any holdout Iraqis might now be on high alert. My team's ready for anything, Colonel. That went smoothly. You think? Got the place locked down tighter than the virgins. Do not finish that sentence, Corporal. Are they ready for <laughs> questioning? Yeah, don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. Stay sharp. If anyone so much as raises an eyebrow, I want to know about it. Copy that. I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh, yeah? So is that this, uh, women's intuition I keep hearing about? Yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? I'd like to see it. Stay still. I'm just going to pat you down. السلام عليكم يا أخي لازم أسأل السؤال ولازم تقول الحقيقة فين مدخل مغزل السلام Foreboding I'll make him talk impatient any orders ma'am Uh impatient we're not trying to torture people Any orders ma'am Stand by I've got this هسألك مرة تانية فين مكان المخزن؟ The hell is that? Some kind of effigy. Possibly pagan. إيه ده؟ هتعرفه قريب. Ooh, this man's like you're gonna die now. This was a bad idea. Why are we holding this damn thing? Oh, we caught ourselves on? Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, what? I've had enough of this. Corporal, keep an eye on the captives. You heard him, Marine. I can't judge him too much, I guess. I've cut myself on, on simpler shit. <laughs> God, this camera was not made for tight spaces. Oh, where the silo is. This man was armed, ma'am. Everyone in this country is armed. Stand down, Lieutenant. It's the only language these people understand. I've got this under control. Are there any more captives? Yeah, in the other hut. Follow me. Keep a firm eye on this one. I 
Actually, you guys didn't bring any handcuffs or zip ties to keep them locked up.